I'm Steve Franco. I'm the colorist here at Video Post and Transfer. We are remastering the Dragon Ball Z series from the original film HD, which is far better than the standard of transfer that you've seen in the past. In the beginning, I was not a Dragon Ball Z fan, but I've come to enjoy this project, mostly from a technical point of view. First of all, my main purpose in this project is to make it look as good as we possibly can. The remastering process is by far the most important thing that could happen to this project. It's important to keep the integrity of this material. And actually, what's beautiful about this, these prints, I must say, is they haven't faded one bit. They haven't aged at all. Color correction is a very, very vital part of this project. I think it's very important that you should know that no color correction or very minimal color correction was done on this. I think I faithfully reproduced it as the artist might have wanted to see it. I try my best to give you the, the best reproduction of this image. I try to be as faithful and I try to put myself in the artist's point of view and, and try to figure out just how he wanted those colors to look. After it's gone through the color corrector, which is not much at all, we now go through the restoration process. The inherent quality of the film has grain, it has dirt, and it has scratches. So the first thing we want to do is we want to try to keep the image as pure as we possibly can. The first restoration step is the HD noise reducer. The HD noise reducer takes the image and smooths out a lot of the grain and a lot of the video noise that may be in the system as we're transferring. The third process is the Terranex. The Terranex is the process by which they take out as much dirt and as many scratches as we possibly can. The Thompson Spirit Data Cine is $1,250,000. The color corrector that we're looking at right now is $450,000. The noise reducer is an $85,000 box. The Terranex, which is the last cleanup dirt and scratch concealment box, is around $50,000. So, you know, you're looking at over, you know, $2 million worth of equipment to do this process. Twenty years ago, this technology was not available. Twenty years ago, you could not do what we can do today. Twenty years ago, you would have to sit down and paint out frame by frame by frame. Today, we can use all these tools that we have at our disposal, with all the technology we have today, run it through, and it, I wouldn't say automatically, but for a few little tweaks, we can actually take and clean up the dirt, clean up the grain, and restore this print back to its original state, or even better. In the early days of television, Everything was done in four by three. In HD, the standard is 16 by nine. So we're kind of reconforming a little bit to fit a four by three image in 60 by nine format, which makes it a lot more appealing, fills the image up, and just makes it more impactful. And as you watch a 16 by nine image versus four by three, it's really interesting to note that it's more cinematic. So you should see a lot more. I think you'll be excited when you see this in the 16x9 format versus the 4x3 format. I'm excited for Dragon Ball Z because I know it's a well-known anime. I'm excited to be working on it because the restoration of this project is very important to, the, to you guys, the viewers. I had the opportunity to remaster something as important as Dragon Ball Z. This is an important project. It's great to see that you can actually look at something that was done back in the 80s and be able to restore it better than it's ever been seen before.